Coach, signing day, just talk about the class in general. Are you happy with what you were able to accomplish? Yeah, we're very happy with the class that we signed today. Uh, you know, we, we, had, we signed some excellent student athletes who are highly motivated individuals that uh, are going to help, help be the building block for Penn State football for the future to come. Talk about the challenges you faced in the short time you had to get this class locked down. You know, probably the hardest thing that we had to do is, once we all got here in January, is just kind of continue the relationships that had already been built with a lot of these families. So we didn't have a lot of time to do it. Uh, you know, one of the first things we did when we got here was had a recruiting weekend. So, uh, you know, we had a short amount of time to, to let these parents and kids feel comfortable with us and, you know, to let the parents know that we're going to be, you know, in charge of their kid for the next four years. So I think we did a great job of conveying our message, and uh, I think it showed in, in the kids that we signed today. Great class, uh, great families we're getting to come to Penn State University. What an exciting time today to get the kind of guys you want to come to Penn State, get a degree, compete in the football field, and have a great quality of life. So we're real excited today. Since Coach O'Brien uh, joined the Penn State family, how busy have you been getting this class finalized? Well, it's been tough, you know, like trying to transition to new coaches into the recruiting phase. And I tell you what, they did a great job. They got, got on the ground, start running, and start recruiting guys, calling, pulling. That's the reason why we kept there. But our previous staff did a great job two months prior to that, and these guys just came in and continued that. So I thought it was really neat that Howell would kind of mash very quickly, hit the road running, brought the first class onto campus that big weekend with Coach O'Brien here, and really kind of sealed the deal to know exactly what Penn State's still all about. Well, Tony, I think right now we had a, really have an outstanding class, and we're really excited about the players that are coming here and also the players that want to be here and uh, made a commitment to Penn State uh, to, take the, to take the school forward and with the winning tradition. Talk about the process since you got here of how busy it's been getting this finalized. Yeah, it's, it's been a whirlwind. Obviously coming in in uh, mid-January, you know, 10, 11, 12, somewhere in there and getting started with recruiting. And it's really trying to maintain the, the recruits we did have committed. And also we did a good job as a staff to picking up some recruits along the way to, to help fill out the class. One running back in the class, Akeel Lynch. Talk about him. You'll be coaching him. Yeah, Akeel, he was a guy that uh, we identified early on in the process. Uh, you know, I'd heard that he had some interest in Penn State. He was a, he was a commit somewhere else. So we just didn't really need to touch base with him. And, and kind of rekindled that uh, relationship that we started here. And uh, once he got on campus, you know, fell in love with the place and uh, we were able to sign. What type of player is he from based on what you've seen on film? Uh, you know, very talented player. He was the, the, the Gatorade New York Player of the Year. Uh, has good size, speed, uh, catches the ball well in the backfield. So I think the, his best football is ahead of him. You know, he's only been playing football in the States for, the, for two years. And uh, I, think he'll, you know, I think he'll become a better player as he goes. And then once he gets here in the summer, we'll, uh, we'll throw him in there and see what happens. You'll have five defensive linemen in the group. Talk about that group in general and some of the talent that you have coming to campus. I tell you, a really exciting group. Very young, very athletic, very big, and they all can run. Very physical players at the point of attack, and uh, I'm looking forward to getting my hands on all these guys. I think it's a great group of guys. We've had this kind of class before in the Jim Kennedy and the Anthony Adam days, but I think this group really solidified itself as a really great group coming in. What types of steps do you take when you when you say you want to, you're looking forward to getting in touch with them? What are the first few things that you talk to these this, these young guys about? Well, just trying to set some parameters. Really, let them know Zach what's going to transpire next. You know, I get a weight training program. They're going to get a DVD from me through all my drills, and they'll get a little bit of the playbook as we move forward. Just start a transition into the terminology and get ready for football at Penn State University. There will be four wide receivers in the class. Uh, talk about Malik Golden. We'll start out start off with him. Malik Golden coming from the uh, New Hanover, Connecticut area. We saw him on film, and really he was a, a player who's already committed to uh, Penn State, and I got a chance to watch him again on film. was very impressed with him. Got a chance to see, meet him and his family and, his, and, the, and the coach at, on that school. But I think he's going to bring a lot to the table, being a very good athlete. Eugene Lewis? Eugene Lewis uh, up here at uh, Wilkesboro, and a uh, great uh, athlete. He played quarterback, if I remember right, uh, and I saw him on tape, and he was just – and I also, also got a chance to watch him play basketball and see what a very good athlete he is. And I think body-wise, 6'2", uh, he's probably ready to go right now. He's already like in a college size uh, uh, individual. Jonathan Warner, son of All-American Kurt Warner. Oh, Jonathan Warner, uh, good athlete up there in, in uh, the Washington area. I uh, got a chance to see him too, and and really, he's obviously his dad was running back. Well, he's a, a good athlete, is playing a, playing wide receiver, and very versatile. A uh, good size on him, good speed. That's a solid, solid player. And Trevor Williams. Trevor Williams out of the the Maryland area. Uh, very good. Caught a lot of balls this past season. Um, could have been 99 uh, passes, a reception that he made. 
uh, good hands, good ball skills. Uh, he got a chance to help us out right away also. You know, it, it's an exciting time, not only for the, for the student athletes, but for the coaches. But, uh, you know, you always hope you, you get the commit kids that are committed to you. And, uh, you know, you sit around the fax machine waiting for the facts to come through most of the day. I think it's great for the fans. Sometimes it gets overkill. You know, the kids take it a little bit too far with the hats thing. I'm not a real big hat guy. And if you're going to go to university, just say you're going to the university and then go. Uh, but it's, it's production. It's television. So I guess that's what everybody's looking for. It's, it's, uh, it's always exciting for me, too. Uh, it's a, a time when uh, we as coaches and the coaching staff that previous for here have been recruiting guys all year. Uh, then some players two years, three years down the road, and now the final day has come that they're making um, – making their commitment to come here. So I, I'm excited. I'm excited for them uh, and also for their families that they come here to a great institution to help with the winning tradition here at Penn State. You know, we've already started some preparations on, on 2013, you know, identifying certain prospects. So, uh, you know, we'll, st we'll get heavy going on that. And then, uh, you know, once Coach O'Brien gets here next week, we'll start uh, working offense and defensively respectively and uh, getting ready for spring practice. Well, recruit is a non, it's, it's just 24-24, it's every day, where you're writing or Facebook, and it's constant contact. That's the biggest thing. you got to stay in front of them. you got to stay in contact with the players to the recruiting process. Then you hopefully you get down to the process where you get them, get them on campus now for an official visit, and that is the real key. Some guys come to games, so coming to games is critical. Once you get them on campus a couple of times, you got a chance to really sell them what the ideal of Penn State and what Penn State football is all about.